Right, let's have a go at 3b. The point Q lies on C, the quadratic, here we are here, y equals x squared minus 9x plus 13, and as such, so the gradient of the normal uh, to C at Q is 1 seventh. Find the x-coordinate of Q. So the gradient of the normal to C at Q, the normal to C is 1 seventh. Okay, so I've written that out. Uh, find the x-coordinate of Q. So if the normal to C has a gradient of 1 seventh, then the tangent at Q at Q has a gradient because that's perpendicular to the normal. The tangent gradient at Q must be what times this makes minus 1? Well, it would be minus 7, isn't it? Yeah, minus 7 times the seventh is minus 1. So this is the gradient of the tangent at Q. We know that the dy dx function, we've done it above, is 2x minus 9. Easy to differentiate anyway. So when does that equal? Uh, the t when is the tangent minus 7? Move that 9 over. Leave the 2x where it is. Move the 9 over to plus 9. 9 takes 7 is 2. Then divide by 2 both sides, or move this 2 from times to divide. 2 over 2 is 1. So we get the value of the x coordinate. Yeah, and that's what it asks for. Find the x coordinate of q, which is 1. So ants x equals 1. Okay, great. That's uh, question 3 done. Good.